So, Harsh to this great video series called, Is it Imba or Do I Suck? Generally speaking, what he does is he analyzes games with viewers and he has a look at the different strategies that they're playing. And most of the time, when someone claims that something is Imba, it actually means that they suck, right? Most of the time, that's the analysis because it doesn't really matter if Terran Mech or, or Storm is overpowered if you're flooding 5,000 resources in the bank and you're not maxed out, right? All right, now, here's the thing. I played this really good game of Zerg vs. Terran Mech a couple of weeks ago. I submitted it to Harstem. It's a long, drawn-out macro game of Terran Mech. Now, Harstem is just about to release this video on his YouTube channel. It says, Loco believes Terran Mech is imbalanced. Okay, I didn't say it that aggressively, okay? It feels to me if it's a split map scenario and that both players, you know, get even amount of resources that uh, Zerk has a very hard time winning. But let's have a look. It says featuring special guests. I want to know what happens here, man. Hi, Harston. Recently, I've been struggling against Terran Mac. While I didn't enjoy the Broodlord Investor style of the past at all, nowadays it feels like Terran gets a similar amount of bases up and just turtles. It becomes nearly impossible to defeat. It seems to me that Zerg late game sucks. Brutalors die to Taurus, Vipers die to Taurus. Ultras die to everything, and investors require your opponent to suck and not scan when they move out. Usually the strategy I go for is to go up to 90 plus workers as soon as I recognize it's a turtle Terran and try to prevent them from expanding to a fifth. I know I won't ever get an efficient trade in the late game, but it doesn't matter if I have more resources than they do. So, is it Imba or do I suck? Thanks. Loco. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, obviously I wrote this a little bit, you know, a little bit more dramatic than it needs to be. I know perfectly well that at the highest level, pretty much all the Zerg players are smashing the Terran players. But, unless you have like 800 APM, it really does feel like you can't get a very good trade in the late game. What does it say? P.S. Can I rent your editor? He's so good. <laughs> Excellent. Mr. Loco decided it was time to send a replay in as he had a ladder game uh, in which he just could not fight the mechanical Terran army. Now, once I saw this replay, guys, I changed my life. I showered this morning, which is something that usually only happens once a week. Mm -hmm. Put on a nice shirt, comb my hair, put on some cologne as it's ready to bury a fellow content creator. Um, By the way, for those of you unfamiliar, Harstam is one of the highest ranked Protoss players in the world. The guy's really good. Um, don't really know what to expect here. I am fully, though, expecting to be buried and to be told that I just suck, okay? I just want you to be aware of that. I, I don't actually think that it's Imba, and I actually do think that I suck, but do still think it's a good game. So we have a replay here with a goal. I mean, when I say bury, I mean, of course, analyze whether any mistakes were made. He said... Thank you. Uh, Mac is overpowered. Everything he can do against it sucks, and we're here just to judge to see if he made any mistakes. So is it is it? No, I played flawless, or, dude. You don't have to watch does this. Does it suck? And uh, I yeah, played. Let, I played let's flawless. Let's go straight into it. So it's a game on Ice and Chrome between uh, him and a, a Terran called SJK. Uh, let, let's see how it goes. I, I'm not quite sure how how good this SJK is, but local is uh, pretty decent at the game, might I say. He's uh, He's pretty damn good, so it's interesting to see a, a high-level game like this. Let's see uh, what, what happens at this MMR, guys. So we have the standard uh, SCV Reaper stuff, trying to deny a third base. Loco is pretty smart, takes the other third base on a map like Ice and Chrome, that's no problem. Loses a, a drone to a Reaper, that's not no, quite that's really as brilliant. But, if I recall you know, correctly, actually, um, it's been a little while since I played this. The early game of this game was absolutely terrible, okay? I don't think I played a very strong early game at all. Um, I believe that this was played on the North American server. So I think at the time I must have been like, I don't know, 5.3k MMR or something like that. And he was probably similar. I sometimes lose two probes. So he was in GM. So losing one drone to the Reaper, you know, everyone has bad days. We're not, we're not going to blame him too much for that, all right? Thank we're you. not going to blame him too much for that. So it's on a creep tumor at the perfect time. Forgets about this... Uh, no, actually, so far everything is good. Perhaps a second queen at some point, or a third queen. And uh, yeah, life is gonna be completely fine here for my good friend Loco. I wanna know, I wanna know the special guests. So it says plural guests, right? So I mean, there have to be multiples. 
And it also has the C capitalized in the title, which makes me think that Special is going to be joining in as well. I don't really know if that's the case. I do know, by the way, that the thumbnail of this video, if we have a quick look, um, is... Well, it's me, Harstam, and then Serral. I don't know if he got Serral to analyze my game, but that would be fantastic. So far, yeah. Look, first three minutes. I don't want to say perfect because you lost a worker, but... I mean, the build order... I don't know if it's just clickbait, okay. I'm a, if you got special with Serral to check fan. my game. Uh, Reaper comes back in. Uh, okay. <laughs> two, two drones. At this stage in the game... That's uh, bad, I know. Still detected. lacking an extra queen Harsh as well. Them is a fan. D. So I'm... I, I'm not... I'm, I'm not too Early fond game of the was, opening. was terrible, okay. yeah. not, not too fond of the opening anymore. <laughs> Third queen is a little bit late, which means... Uh, Decisions will have to be made whether you want to inject or put creeps. Thank you, by the way, Issa Rao. Point. Let's see what Loco decides to do. Opponent, the meanwhile, is using his barracks to float for the for the high ground. Now, usually, uh, this is an indicator of, of something mech, mech-y afterwards, right? It could be uh, fusion core for battle cruisers, like we're seeing here. It could be just I Banshee. definitely suck so It is far, going yeah. to be a fusion core, uh, which I'm excited for. Battle cruisers are always quite exciting. Loco has almost no scouting information, has been supply block for quite some time. He's still only on three queens, four minutes into I told you the early game sucked, man! Slow it's about the late game! To most other people, um, they would have way more queens. A lot of the time you'll see them produce three queens from their their natural hatchery and then uh, get their next queen over here at the at the fourth base as well. And they kind of continue queen production until they have seven or eight queens against Terran majority of the time. Um, um, queens also should always be in position to stop any types of Hellions from just poking on the creep. Now the way you want to <laughs> yeah, so finish this extractor, okay, I didn't see that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's not perfect either, Loco. Once again, I can forgive you these minor errors. So, um, you want to have Overlords kind of at the edge of the creep. I know. So you can spot Hellion movement easily. and that way Okay, so, so in my defense, right? I know that this is all terrible, right? In my defense, I think this is like after like six hours of streaming and one of the final games of that day. If I recall correctly, um, yeah, generally speaking, I found that when I, when I start the stream, my games are pretty good. But as it progresses, it spirals out of control. And it's because of things like Overlord positions. And look what this was the second to last game. All right, yeah. I, I, it's an excuse. I know, I know. It's an excuse. But, you know, I'm just giving at least somewhat of a reasoning. You know, at least, the, at least there's that. Kind of mirror the movement of the Hellions with your Queens. So you'd have an Overlord over here, maybe an Overlord over here. Um, I mean, this Overlord... I guess it's, it's, it's quite useful. This one could be pushed a bit further down as well, so you have a a quicker way of spotting things. Yeah, this I'm just giving you some context. Kind of useless. Um, this overlord is being pretty useless. So we have we have two, three overlord. Oh my god, there's two more here. We have four or five overlords that could be positioned in, <laughs> a supply block. in different places, as to make it a lot easier to uh, counter any type of hellion play. Now, like I said before, his queen count is a lot lower than it should be, and that's not brilliant. He also rushed layer to go straight into baneling suite now this is a move i haven't seen before that's a pretty common um, build it's a very common nowadays build. when we see layer rushes we see them either for an extremely fast fire or well actually that's just it we just see them for an extremely fast fire ah, like, i think this I was a, a four minute layer into baneling speed it wasn't super quick really seen them for for anything else whatsoever to speak of so I'm By the way, I have no idea how long this video is. Like, this is a pretty long game. It's like a 30-minute long game or something along those lines. But, um, yeah, I don't I'm know. entirely sure. If it says guests as well, if it's multiple times, this could be an hour-long video. <laughs> what, what this is for, honestly. I mean, we have a couple of Hellions now coming in. I mean, there's, there's, there's three Banelings, but you're not really going to be catching Hellions with Banelings. I, I guess he does catch a couple, but, I mean, that's even without Baneling speed, so... I, I'm not too sure about it. Battle Cruiser comes in here. No. All right, so the reason I decided to go for the quick bailing speed is because I've been playing that build as my go-to in ZVT recently. Now, Harsta makes a good point earlier that with the barracks lifted, it does mean that it's not going to be, uh, you know, a bio-based push most of the time. Usually, it will be a mech-based push. So I didn't really need to rush my bailing speed. Probably could have gone double Evo first, but no. that's the reasoning why. Like most of the time, this lines up quite nicely with bio pushes. When we think of mech, we see two very popular responses 
in uh, in in the pro scene and the a very common response we see is mass muta and people say well what about Thor? doesn't Thor just kill mass muta you'd be surprised how well these top players do with mass muta against Thor. and another one is um most of the time ravager roach corruptor and then going into uh, Lingbane Ravager after on, on high worker counts and just continuously trying to kill bases on the side and playing this very high momentum game with um, rather inefficient trades but because you're out mining your opponent by so much a lot of the time you're going to be able to just kind of kill them like they'll run out of money eventually and then you win mech is kind of popular at the moment in the professional meta as well but um, it hasn't been doing extremely well, yeah honestly it it you know the 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 the, the times I see Mac a lot of the time the Zerg ends up winning. So here we have um, so we have plus one on range and we have carapace upgrade. So this should be Roach Corruptor. I'm actually gonna go into Hydras into a hive as well pretty quickly here. Hydralisk, Spire, and four more queens. I am afraid Loco is slowly losing the plot a little bit here. <laughs> I am, I am. He is slowly losing the plot. I think he just went in a cinema and he expected to watch The Incredibles, but really he's watching a human centipede and he's confused where the superheroes are and what these people are doing to each other. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to go into Hydras here and Corruptors were made as well to deal with the battle cruiser. I think I checked inside of the main base and I knew that it was going to be multiple better cruisers coming up. But in general, I'm just trying to go up to like 90 workers and I just want to make a lot of stuff. That seems to be a pretty good way of playing this out. So that's the huh. idea. I'm not really going for a timing attack or a push or anything along those lines. I'm just setting up right now for a long game. Cinema Hall 2. Here we play Roach Corruptor. S Corruptor Hydra is not a composition. In order to ensure that all my information is correct, you know, as, as I'm here uh, possibly roasting a fellow content creator, I have a couple of helplines and I'd like to use the first one. So here comes the first Terran expert. All right, I'm gonna ask you a question and I want you to answer it honestly, okay? <gasps> okay. What, what do we think of Hydra Corruptor as a composition to beat Battlecruiser Mech? <laughs> do I really have to answer that? <laughs> no, no, this was fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that Terran expert. Uh... All right, all right. Thank you, special. I appreciate that. That was <laughs> very descriptive. Thank you. Seemed pretty clear on uh, on Loco's decision so far. So uh, let, let's Donation continue into confirmed. this game. Hydra, that was uh, special. Corruptor doesn't really seem to be a composition here. So we will, you know, we'll we'll put that as the the first. I'm going Hydra Link Bane Corruptor though. We're gonna but use, it's okay. Um, first strike system. We're gonna use the American Justice system, which is based on baseball. So three strikes and you're out. That's what we're gonna be using here. And for right now, Local has got his first major strike. Let's see how many we can rack up in this game. Corruptor Hydra, not a composition. Oh no, I'm loving this, man. This is great. I know that I'm being roasted here at the same time, but I know my early games sucked this game, right? I said that before starting the video, so I know my early game sucked. I mean, obviously it's an excuse, could have done better, but it's mostly about the later stages. Actually looking pretty good. His work account is looking good. How is his information looking? I mean, he knows it's Mac, which is interesting. He knows it's, it, it's uh, what do you call these bad boys? Battle cruisers. Ooh. When you think about mech, and especially with corruptor-based plays, is that a lot of the time you don't really want to use these as a as a late game composition very much. A lot of the time, what you want to do is you kind of want to stop the the battle cruisers with your corruptors, and then do big attacks on the fourth base, on the third base, and uh, with high baneling counts to snipe planetaries. Basically, that's kind of what you want to be doing. You want to be playing an aggressive style. If you don't want to be playing an aggressive, he's gonna be calling Cyril as well later, isn't he? Yep. So you gotta attack very fast into hive to get quickly into viper. He totally viper is. Is the one unit that can help you trade very well against mech compositions. So in that case, with big Viper counts, you're just trying to uh, walk around, 
pick up a tank here and there. I mean, there's there's nothing really here right now to deal with Vipers, right? There's, there's basically pure tank. There's a couple of battle cruisers, but you, know, you, you can just pick these up. I will be roasted by Sarno any day of the week, guys. That works for me. As we continue in this game, we still see, of course, the resource advantage here for a loco, which is extremely nice. Getting a lurker then? <laughs> I love how uh, confused well, he is I'm about my decision making. What he's going to use it for? This could just be as a distraction for when the Terran scans and he sees, oh, lurker then, my opponent is an idiot, then he might start playing worse. I kind of like that idea of loco. Mm -hmm. That was totally because, it. I mean, his current composition sure. is that great, isn't that great already? And his opponent probably is already considering. Let's leave that it at his that. Opponian, opponent, you know, might not be the brightest uh, tool in the. Wait, shirt. wait, wait. <laughs> what did he say? Be bad, pretend to be even worse, provoke manor mules, less income for Terran profit. There it is, man. Yeah, Harstam thinks I'm playing 4D chess, but I'm actually playing checkers. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually playing checkers over here. I'm, you know, I'm that guy who's going to kindergarten who puts like a sticker on his forehead with like some of that, you know, what's it called? Elmer's glue or whatever. You just stick it on your forehead. That's what I'm doing right now. Trying to just put down a lurker den because it felt like it. But no, I think the lurker den can be quite helpful if you need to defend certain areas of the map. I wanted to probably put a couple of those in like outer bases to make sure I wasn't going to get wrecked by uh, by lurkers and stuff or by, by Hellion run bys and stuff. But yeah, it's a bit of a shaky decision. Honestly, no, most of this comes down right now to just having more eco, right? So I've got units burrowed in his further expansions. So essentially what I'm trying to do here, I'm just trying to like contain this Terran opponent here on four bases. And in the meantime, I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So I'm going up to seven here. So my idea is, okay, if he's mining out four bases and I'm mining like six or seven, doesn't really matter so much what I do, as long as I don't take a lot of damage. I should be able to just outmine him and be okay. <laughs> that was my idea. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the scan. He's like, ah, Lurkers, this guy's an idiot. This is a free win. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see way more dangerous unit movement and just bad moves all around now from the Terran. Because it's like, well, if someone builds Lurkers against Mac, detected. that person definitely didn't hey, feel a Loco, finish hope elementary. You have a nice and not oh. too hot day. Uh, I, I really like this killer. by Loco, actually. I'm kind of tempted to remove one of the strikes just for this brilliant move. As long as he doesn't actually build any Lurkers, we're going to be completely fine. Gets his Vipers, which is good. Uh, seismic Spines, he's, you know, he's sticking to the part. So whenever this gets scanned again, the Terran sees, ah, he's actually researching upgrades mm -hmm. as well. That's, that's rather idiotic. Uh, and then, you know, the Terran will start playing even worse. So you see that Loco is not only a fantastic content creator on YouTube, he also has a massive brain really thinking about the, you know, the, the mind games. The, just just the things that you can do yeah, with the brain. Yeah, you should remove uh, a strike. He's fantastic at that, apparently. Remove the strike, now, dude. This kind of rotations are really painful to watch, of course, especially if they're completely done in vision. Um, whenever you're playing against Mac. You want to be confusing your opponent with quick rotations from base to base. And the way to do that is to always take the shortest route around. So you, you push in here, you, you check over here. Well, you don't push, but you like, you poke, you poke, you prod, you poke, you prod over here. And then you just keep going until you see a vulnerable angle. Because the Terran army, this is the one thing that Max sucks at, is at moving around. It is slow, it is crap, it doesn't do its job very well. You know, at, of at least moving around. That it doesn't do that job at all, honestly. Um, so at this point, Loco has Hydras and Corruptors. Both units are extremely good at dealing with battle cruisers, which right now there's still three of. And Hydras. Hydras suck at battle cruisers. Both the armies are really just kind of out of position. This is why Hydra Corruptor isn't that great. Both of them fulfill a very yeah. similar role, which it isn't isn't that that useful. To have you know like you you already got that covered with the corruptors you don't need more hydras like roaches or ravagers would be a lot better they're cheaper uh, you can get them out a lot faster they're, lo they're less gas heavy which allows you to tech to a high faster get those vipers now when you have vipers what you want to be doing as zerg is you want to be trading like you just want to be spending and oh no <laughs> <laughs> I'm here's the second strike move one of the strike just for this brilliant move as long as he doesn't actually build any strike two Strike two, dude. Uh, uh, poor loco. So, but, but let me finish my sentence before I make a bad. Choice. Actually, actually, um, okay. In my defense, all right. I don't want to like. I, I want to watch this video. I don't want to actually, you know, hear the thoughts and all that. But Hydra Lurker Viper was a very popular style to play against Terran Mech for a little while. 
I remember watching Serral win Home Story Cup 20 with this, not that long ago, back in November. It's not been that long. Um, that said, though, I mean, it's kind of fallen out of favor, but... I mean, technically speaking, right, I don't play at the top level. I don't think that should technically cost me the game, but... With Vipers, you want to be trading yeah, energy we'll for units, so you constantly want to be whoop, abducting units into preferably a Roach or a Roach Ravager or a Roach It's only Ravager been eight Bane months, army. guys. No, but it's um, the same balance patch. So you're constantly trading, keeping your opponent's bank low, preferably even. keeping them below 200 supply which is definitely possible um, i mean these vipers have been flying around for whoop, a very whoop. long time and these are the first two abducts and they're whoop, not even into whoop. something like right now this is this is what should be happening all the is, time you wait just did the editor add a sound effect for the <laughs> did the editor just add a sound effect for the for the abduct the abducting 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 now for my bad joke so if you guys remember the matrix at a certain point the, the main guy, I'm not going to spoil too much. Neo needs to pick between two pills. You got the red pill and you got the blue pill. I can't even remember what the pills do. do it doesn't matter. Now, Loco also uh, once met a guy and he said, I have three pills for you. Here's the red pill, the blue pill, and here's the green pill. If you take the green pill, you will think that lurkers are a good idea against mech. And Loco said, I'll take the green one, <laughs> ate it. And now Loco lost, well, not only 25 IQ by taking the green pill, but he also believes that lurkers are good against mech. Yep. Um, which is honestly a bit of an issue. Let's just say that if Loco was the main character in The Matrix, <laughs> that movie would have a very different... <laughs> Who makes this? Why? What? All right, sorry, what did he say? That if Loco was the main character in The Matrix, that movie would have a very different ending. Oh, the lurkers? Maybe good against the robots? No. They're not good against the robots, man. The robots can fly. Um, so yeah, lurkers... The, the reason why lurkers are not that brilliant against mech is because everything outranges the lurker. The lurker is Whoop. good because it can Whoop. outrange things. Whoop. And it, Whoop. it does that. Like, this is... This is good, Loco. This is what we needed to be doing for the past four minutes. Ever since we had these vipers out. Like, there's nothing to be able to deal with these vipers absolutely nothing all you need to do is pop pop, pop. there we go keep pulling them pop. The, the problem is i have he no army have anymore because he has so much supply in yes he has 13 corruptors he has six hydras and four lure he doesn't actually have an army like his entire army right now is consisting of support units which makes absolutely no sense it's it's not it, it's like starting a football team with like 12 goalies it's like, first of all, you're only allowed to have 11 men on the pitch. And second of all, What's even this? if you're allowed to have 12, this would still be a terrible idea. Oh, it's actually a So, I kind of like that he's throwing... Yeah, I'm getting them rid right now, because I realized the same thing. And, and and actually getting a decent trade with it. This is a... It looks like a bad move, but it's a good move. You, you get get rid of them. Uh, they'll, they don't need them anymore. Seven Vipers, perhaps, is also a little bit overzealous on the Viper. I think you only need, like, four, maybe five. Should be fine, but... I'm a fan that he has so many, and that we're finally trying to get some trades done. Whoop. Whoop. Uh -huh. And actually, every time he pulls them in, he does get kills, right? Even though it's slow, because he only Whoop. has Whoop. like five fighting units. Uh -huh. Hey, I've got Brenda and the team, okay? Brenda and the knitting crew uh, are here. He's still down in units lost, because his initial Whoop. trades weren't that brilliant. But he's, he's at least trading at some Whoop. point. And as you can see right now, when Zerg starts trading, you see that his bank is still Whoop. massive. The other guy isn't even maxed and is losing a bank. This is literally all. Okay, so do. this is this is when I tilt in this game. Okay, this is when I tilt. So we're 15 minutes into it, right? My game hasn't been perfect. Let's leave it at that, right? I think that's been discussed. But look at this stuff. So I'm sitting at like 11,000 resources in the bank, 200 supply. I'm maxed, right? I've been mining my entire side of the map. It's been absolutely fantastic, right? I mean, unit composition-wise, maybe I'm playing something that's a little bit old school and, like, not that good anymore, but... <laughs> maybe I'm playing something that's a little bit outdated, and that's fair, right? 
In my defense, though, right? Okay, so here, here's the situation. Terran's at 159, and he's not maxed out, and he doesn't really have much of a bank, right? He's gonna need most of that just to, like, max out again. So, yeah, this is, this is where the salt um, <clears throat> gets part of the game. And he needed to be doing it for the past four or five minutes. Like, he can start doing this. Hello? So I think I'm still okay here because I'm playing five, like, five base Terran is what I'm going up against right now. And I've been mining my side of the map, right? Like, if you draw a line through the mini-map, I've, I've drawn literally all of it. So, or mine is a stationary much unit all of it. kill a Viper? No. Good. Actually, I think it might have killed you. But it's okay. We can, we can let it slip by. We give a, a, a second major strike, by the way, for the... For the fact that Loco <laughs> hadn't been using his Vipers very well. Okay, Also, fair. now that the Corruptors are gone, you see all of a sudden his army looks a lot scarier. And I said that uh, Hydra Corruptor is in the composition. Hydra Viper actually is kind of playable, I guess. I remember, it's, it's I remember like Hydra Viper used to be the main thing against Battle Mech back in the day. Um, and like I said, you know, at the beginning of this thing as well, I was struggling against Terran for Terran Mech for a little while right now. I've not been playing the best games against it. So that's why... I, you know, I'm trying out different things, right? But should probably not, not, not do that. Anyways, I've got strike two, guys. One more strike and I'm out. Not popular anymore. It used to be a lot more popular back in the day. Nowadays, it's all about these banelings blowing up bases. But, I mean, this can really trade very well. I don't understand why he uses these uh, Hydras so forward rather than using them in unison with these Vipers, though. That makes very little sense to me. Mm. Um, That's actually a really good point. We have the battle cruiser run by. This is something that he's been doing pretty poor, I was gonna say, but now he does well. He splits off part of his army rather than his entire army. That's good, because then. I was gonna say he can he can keep on trading. But he, he doesn't keep trading, he just loses units. <laughs> Where are your vipers? Okay. We still have vipers available. We need the second hotline, man. We need the second hotline. Up to. Now. What Loco needs to do, once again, is he just needs to get his crap together. You know, a thing he could also do is 8k minerals. He could build some static defense over here, so he doesn't need to think about any type of run by. And then all he needs to do is just pull, pull, pull. Whoop, 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 pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. We get a trade. Um, all our Vipers die. Not too great, but in the end, there's one thing that Loco is most likely going to be right in, and that is... Your fights, most likely, are not going to be efficient. And that's completely fine. Because as a I love how player, this is like so, like, <laughs> Loco believes Terran Mech is imbalanced in all uppercase. <laughs> I never said that, dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have so much more mobility that you should be capable of denying his bases at a way higher rate than he can deny yours. You should be able to mine way more than him, and you should be able to constantly be forcing fights because you have abduct. <laughs> Only yeah, what's up, Arstum? Yeah, yeah. If you want the big views, you gotta trick the audience. Yep, you gotta get that clickbait in. You gotta get that clickbait in. I wonder if I'm gonna be getting strike three. When the Terran gets ghost out, do Vipers become useless? Before that, actually, like all things considered, though, right? All kidding aside, um, this has actually been very useful. Like, the actual advice here, between the, the jokes and, like, you know, the memes and the misplays and stuff, is actually very useful. I'm gonna be able to trade, you see, every time he has I should be far more active with my army. Fight. I have a tendency to sit back a lot. And he has his entire army together, he's getting good trades. Now... Because every, every time I'm actually fighting, I get good trades. I should be doing that way more. Here we go. Still, actually, he's getting way closer in resources lost. Now, let's analyze this situation for a second. Oh, yeah. let's not! A little bit of... Uh, let's not do that! Mid-game review. Ding, 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 ding. Um, this base, completely <laughs> open. No Great transition. Carry, zero tanks. Absolutely nothing. He's not aware of it, but I think you could guess that there might be a base here. Yeah. This base, one, two, three. Three tanks, planetary basically done, two battle cruisers, four, five turrets. Now, we can do two things here. We can either attack into this base and probably kill it against some losses or we can get it for free or what we can do is we can keep attacking this until we think that the fight might go kind of sour and then go over here to attack this i base. think that's what i'm also, trying to do also we could just send three hydras over here no that seems clear like a this lot of... base force it to lift off here's the problem man if you send three hydras you can't use the all army hotkey 
Yeah, Harstam is currently watching Loco, watching Harstam, watching Loco. That is correct, yes. We must go deeper, man. I, I'm currently watching Harstam in the chat, watching me, watch his video of him watching me. That's true. Yeah, we should be, like, I'm recording this right now, so it's okay. If you record, a, you know, if someone can clip this and then you can watch this during your live stream tomorrow, we've got, you know, we got to go deeper. Killing we could keep one. this up for Let's weeks. See what to do. So he goes for this base. He, instead of right clicking the base, he move commands into tanks mm -hmm. near a turret. <laughs> no! Oh no! Strike three! Fudge! Loses about 15 Hydras, a couple of Overseers. Never mind. Leave this base. Alive as well, and then moves back. I hadn't even thought of that scenario. Yeah. I had three scenarios. <laughs> Loco, our, our green yes. build hero, once again figured out a scenario which uh -huh. I didn't know was there. I yes. just didn't know it was there. Very impressive. Big brain. I'm actually, I actually do have 200 You know, usually when at companies, imagine this. You're in charge of the hiring process of a company. <laughs> And your manager tells you to hire someone that needs to be able to think out of the box. <laughs> and your guy comes back with loco. Your manager is gonna be fuming, you know? This is why you specify that when you think out of the box, it still needs to be good thinking, you know? Like, thinking outside of the box isn't necessarily good. It's like, alright, we have, we have two scenarios here, guys. I'm making uh, bailings, guys! Need to cut the cost by... Uh, no, sacking a couple I'm of people, it. or um, you know, we need to, we need to somehow get our products cheaper. And a loco comes with a suggestion like, how about we build down the warehouse of our supplier? Everyone in the meeting is like, oh my god, who hired this guy? Green pill logo for you, my friend. Green pill loco for you. The man, the myth, the legends. Two lurkers still holding their, you know, holding down the fort at this point. Loco about to get the realization that tanks actually have superior range to lurkers. Lurker then has done absolutely. Don't mind me, dude. I'm just tank. chasing everything. I'm chasing two battle cruisers with my entire army. Once again, entire army getting pulled out of position <laughs> by two units. Um, loses a base, loses a bunch of drones. Even though, actually, the trades haven't been going that far. The last, I mean, the last few trades were kind of crap. Now, once again, though, right? I'm still sitting at a huge freaking bank. Still got a really good income. The game hasn't been perfect. I would say macro-wise though, it's been really good. But yeah, 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 micro-wise is the one where he walked not, into the not planetary. That impressive. Before that, every time he actually fights, he kind of does well. Like he, he actually is doing a pretty decent job. I this, you know, I like this. You guys might look at this and oh, just wait for so many bailings into a planetary. Yes, but. He's denying mining against a Terran that's gonna be... Hello, okay. That's gonna be on lower base count. Now, that's completely fine. The thing is, you need to use this momentum to keep going. You break a location, you want to be breaking more locations. You get a good trade. Yes, this is what you need to do. You have so much money in the bank. This is absolutely So perfect. once again, right? I looked at this replay after the game. We're sitting here at a Terran who's basically broke. I've got 16,000 resources in the bank. <sighs> That's a lot. You need to keep your freaking Vipers alive, though. If you don't have your Vipers alive, this kind of stuff just isn't useful. Because you need to continuously be trading. Now, even at this point. So, we saw a fight yeah. which was probably slightly inefficient for Loco. But if we look... Loco, I can't believe you lost this. That's impressive. Right? That's what I was thinking, dude! Wait, how many lairs do I have? Did I just have five lairs? We saw a fight which was probably Did slightly <laughs> inefficient for Loco. <laughs> but if we look at everything that has just happened, is we have okay, an 8k, 8K, 8K bank here for Loco. We have a 700 bank for the Terran. Loco has map control. He has decent creep threat still out. He should be taking this base. Yeah. Everything I say about I, So I actually, I casted a game of Zerk versus Terran mech that Serral played not that long ago. Um... I don't know exactly who the opponent was anymore. I think it was Serral. believe so. I casted it actually, and I posted it on YouTube as well. One thing that Serral did... Oh my god, I'm making five lairs? I am making five lairs. Was it Serral versus Marine Lord? I think it must have been, yeah. So one thing... Hold up, can I find that real quick? Serral versus Marine Lord. 
So it's a similar scenario. Obviously, Cero plays way better than me, right? I, I did the same thing. I don't know if Hearthstone's still here, by the way. I did the same clickbait, dude. Zerk late game, dot, 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 sucks, question mark, right? Okay, anyways, if we skip this one to like, hold up, the end of that game, right? So it's it's a mirrored spawn location, so it's a little bit different. Um, but if you look at the minimap in this particular game, you'll notice that Serral is actually taking, like, look, if you look at this, this minimap right now, it's a little hard to see because the play button is on top of it. Um, but... It's a similar scenario. Traits have been going pretty poorly, right? Like, you can see a gajillion units have died. Serral's losing a ton of resources. Um, but he's taking these two bases on Ice and Chrome. So he's taking one of the bases of the Terran. I think even with all of the strategic mistakes I made, if I would have taken this base, which is supposed to be one of the Terrans, I'm pretty sure I would have won. I think I would have been in a good spot. Despite all the strategic errors, you know? I should have taken one of the bases of the Terran, because this one is basically free to mine for like the last 10 minutes. Split map scenarios for Would have been really Terran, good. Uh, where you don't want to have them are untrue once Zerg is up a base. Now, yeah. I'm not great at counting, but most mineral patches have about 1,500 minerals. Some of them have a little less. What is it? 800? 900. So, in like a my, base, I actually, so my cost efficiency here has been pretty terrible. But it's been about as terrible as playing Brute Lords or Ling Bane or Roach Ravager, you know, Ling Bane or playing like Ultralisks, right? The cost efficiency is pretty much always trash. So even though I'm playing Hydra Viper, which is maybe not that great, it, there's really not like something you can do that is really great. It's, you're gonna get about what is it, 5k minerals, I don't care. Approximately 6k minerals, 7k minerals. 10k, more like 10k minerals. You're gonna get about 10k minerals, okay? All right, per base. The moment- Rookie mistake, Arstam. I know you've been only making videos for a couple months. You never record a video and do math at the same time. We all know this. Never math in a video, never, okay? If you can't double check it right then and there. Take an extra base, you're basically up two bases, right? So instead of it being seven, seven, uh, all of a sudden you had eight and he only had six, which means you have like 20k more minerals. You're gonna get what, like, uh, 10k more gas. So all of a sudden you can be down 30k in units lost if you get a proper split map scenario yeah. where you mine one more base. This he makes base some really good points. It's gonna be impossible for the Terran to keep. Yep. It's too far out of the way. He can never defend this area. He can never defend this area. Like he would need to put three tanks over here, but without any backup defense, a couple of vipers. Yeah. Would and be if able the Terran to were to do that, right? If he would try to take a location of, of, of right over here, right? His entire bottom section, the other like side of the map, could be destroyed very easily. Completely destroy that. Terran can only the only thing Terran can do is push this base. So Loco, Loco, it's easy to analyze a game in hindsight. It would be great to work on how to make those decisions while in game. No, no, no. It's all about knowledge, right? So I actually disagree with that. Um, the only way you're gonna get better in StarCraft 2 is by analyzing games. Like, I think my macro is good. I think my micro can be quite good as well, but it's not as good as my macro for sure. Um, Next time around, I'm in a scenario like this, I will actually be able to make that decision to take one of those bases of the Terran and to play a different kind of strategy, right? So that's one of the big ways that you actually improve in StarCraft 2. Like, you can't really learn when you're already, you know, spending, like, all your brain power on actually playing the game. You gotta be able to make these decisions after the fact, so next time around that you actually see it, you can respond at that point without having to, like, actively think so much about it then. Um... It's one of the reasons why, like, grinding a ton of games and actually, like, analyzing the games is really, really good if you want to improve in StarCraft 2, because that way you've seen a lot of scenarios before, and you've actually thought about what you need to be doing in all of those scenarios, and then you can actually make a decision. Oh, main priority should be mining out this base and mining out this base as fast as possible, because then he can take the fights that he's been taking again and again and again without having to push his advantage. So there's two major ways in which you can beat Terran. One is by getting more mining and do a split map scenario and two is by putting very high moment or very high pressure on the terrain yeah. and winning purely through momentum now like i suck I said, at that I second like one the the bailing stuff the thing is you need to keep going after it you can't just do one of these then wait four minutes uh, until the terrain establishes the position again and then go again the moment you put on pressure is the moment you need to keep going again and again now 
Actually, Loco was having good fights with the Viper stuff. I'm not quite sure why he stopped. Vipers in general, even if you're going into a Bailing composition, as long as you have some type of, of Hydra... Why, why does he have 19 Corruptors again? <laughs> There's Do four Battle Cruisers! Cruisers. <laughs> There's not that many Battle Cruisers. Like, uh, like the 90 Corruptors so are complete dead weight in this army, honestly. Yeah. Like, honestly, complete dead weight. This could have been, like, 25 Viper... Or 25 Hydras and... I don't know, like four or five Vipers extra. And then you still have so much left over for Banelings as well. I should have definitely made more Vipers. Outside there. bases, um, pushing into positions after you cleared up. Things like these are, these are not good trades. He just, he just doesn't have the ground army to deal with this. He just yeah. sends in 20 Banelings to their death, then seven more Hydras, then three more Hydras, just to clear uh, five tanks. Like, uh, this is not how it's uh, supposed uh, to happen. Uh, these trades should be going way better. And really, once you clear these tanks, this base is defended. So you always got to think of how, how Terran splits their supply, right? So I'm going to get to battle cruisers battle right cruisers. now. Or sorry, uh, uh, Brutlarch right now. That could be stopped probably with a couple more spores. Um, I think that's why I added up Maybe a small Hydra force to deal with that. Um, maybe some spines to deal with these Hellions. And then Terran needs to defend this area, or you can walk there. They need to defend this area. They need to defend this area. And they need to defend this area. So there's one, two, three, four main areas. One, two, three, yeah, four main areas that Terra needs to defend. They're gonna need more than two tanks per area there. Or they need to continuously be moving around. Organized attack. On this position, Zerg should lose maybe three units here and should absolutely crush this. And that's exactly what happens, right? Now, you're gonna need to temporarily give this up, but you create, like, if he starts a base trade, that's really good for Zerg, right? You have a big bank, you should have larva available. You can just keep going. You just keep pushing, you go into their production, you probably win the game. Like, you're way faster at killing stuff, unless I guess your army consists of 48 Broodlords? Um, I'm not a big fan of Broodlords, you should. Oh, no, I mean, you're Look at the, the resource loss now. Ever since he started transitioning into Bane, it's been going worse and worse, which it makes sense because you're going to trade worse against army. So I hope Cyril joins the video and says, just play like me. Whenever you Good play advice. a Bane style, you really need to bang, 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 bang. And if you can't bang, bang, then don't get the Bane you know, Yeah, I can't bang, bang. You're right. Stay on Hydra Viper in that case or stay on Roach. Roach Viper, Roach Ravager Viper, whatever you want to do. Brute Lords are not made for playing catch, you know? This is <laughs> it's just not what you're supposed to do. Look at this, when man. When you have Brute Lords, oh. you, you hope to fight. Like, in the oh. next few seconds. Like, you're not going to be chasing Hellions around with Brute oh, Lords. Oh, no. Because they're really freaking slow. Mech is slow. Like, literally the only thing slower than Mech in this world is, uh, is the Brute Lord. Perhaps Loco's decision making. <laughs> Just kidding, Loco. I love you, buddy. Um, <laughs> so you have corruptors going in for a command center. Uh, Vipers are coming back in the game. I kind of like that, but his army is so. I'm, I'm not even quite sure what it like, is. Dude, I just made a little bit of everything. Ultra Viper. Oh. Look, if a if a, a brute lord counters a siege tank, and uh, the siege tank counters. I don't know, like for example, the Hydra and the Hydra counters, I don't know, the, the battle cruiser, right? If I make one of each, I counter everything. How do you beat it when someone makes one of each unit? Oh, 50 drones. He doesn't really have a... I'm trying to recreate the Heart of the Swarm cinematic. Like, what, what is the goal of this army? You know, the, the goal of this army is to have a good engagement. But if you're going for engagement, the thing you need like, this is another way, actually, to win. You can have good engagements against mech armies. But in what? that case, you need infestors and you need neural. So you can neural 5-6 uh, of the mech army. Oh, that's still coming. Kills itself while you're that's still coming, Hydra, dude. Just Ultra wait. Force, I think that's still coming anyway. Bailings. I don't even mind some corruptors in that case. Moves in and, and kills it. But without infestor, uh, it's absolutely impossible. You can take a straight-up engagement into a sieged-up, uh, maxed-out mech army with non-spellcasters. It's just not possible. Unless he doesn't have enough anti-air, you have a lot of brute lords. Um, but I, I, I thought this fight would this go really well. Be a pretty decent engagement. Yeah. Uh, 
one blinding cloud would help a lot, Loco. No, no blinding cloud. Nah, man, that seems like a lot of APM. This, this, this engagement obviously is very good. It was a non sieged army. Um, you see, a lot of the, the Terran units are still kind of just set around the map as well. I, I feel, I, so I, you based. know, it's pretty clear that I played like a donkey, especially in the early game. But like, if I played like a donkey, he played, you know, even donkeyer. That's not a, that's not a verb, but I mean. <sighs> this was a really good fight, honestly. I'm, I'm, verb? That's not even the correct word. Anyways. I'm proud of him for that. I mean, he does have a big army supply at this point. His bank is growing lower and lower. He's not even really maxed anymore. <laughs> Ultralist does go down. Adjective, there it is. Uh, English I, is I hard, okay? Like the, the I was gonna say by Fuglik Nambord, but I don't think a lot of you are familiar with the Dutch word. By Fuglik Nambord, there you go. Many, the many playstyles he's trying to mix isn't really working. It's like, you know, you ever have these guys that, um, oh, no, that ask you for advice. Here's another analogy people that go to the gym, they know what I'm talking about. Um, and you have like a friend who wants to start as well and he, he asks you for advice and you just tell him it, it doesn't really matter what you tell him right you tell him hey like you have ever heard of the the five five or whatever like the strong lips it's like a decent program like people are gonna make gains with this kind of stuff you know and your friend does one workout of strong lips and then he calls you up like kevin this strong lift stuff isn't working for me my bicep didn't grow five centimeters and you're like well like it, Maybe give it some time. It's like, no, no, no. I, I'm trying something else now. I'm doing full body workouts uh, eight times a week. And he does two full body workouts. He looks in the mirror. He's like, my chest isn't the size of Arnold Schwarzenegger yet. That, that's an issue here for me. Uh, and I'm like, okay, well, like, just just try to stick with a plan. Maybe. Arnold like, had no, no, the no. sickest chest in the camp. Yeah, uh, I'm like, going to be uh, running cool. three times a week. And sickest uh, chest genetics, though, man. I don't think anyone can get there. I'm just going to be body. Not a lot of people as anyway. well at home, man. I think this is the key. I saw some videos of calisthenics guys and they look ex insanely buff. And I'm like, all right, good luck. Like, just stick to the program. It's like, after two calisthenics run out, uh, workouts and half a run, he decides to call it quits. Uh, he tells me he has bad genetics and can can never actually become big. <gasps> that right here is what Loco is doing. <gasps> he switches composition into composition without actually sticking with it or following the game plan with it. He started with well, Hydra Corrupt. Hydra Corruptor, which isn't a composition. We're gonna skip that part. <laughs> then he goes into Hydra Viper, which actually was working reasonably well. He just wasn't executing it very well. He wasn't doing the exercises the correct way. Uh, he wasn't having the proper nutrition, but the plan was good. He was he was trading, he was doing a good job. He was winning the game very hard, I think, at certain points. Mm -hmm. Then he goes into mass bailing, but once again, he, 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 didn't, he didn't start with that plan. And Hydra Baneling, or well, Strike Three Boys, be Hydra Baneling with Ravager Bane is a composition where you play on high momentum. So this is not the time to use that plan anymore. The time for that plan is way past. Then that doesn't work. It's like ah oh, crap, I'm losing all my workers. Let's just go a fighting army. But he doesn't execute the fighting army correctly. He doesn't have the investors, and that's the issue. Here. He just keeps switching plans, and he never is growing his muscle. And then he complains to me that he has crap genetics. No, you don't have crap genetics. Just stick with the plan, man. It's better to stick with a crap plan than to, to keep switching between decent plans without actually completely executing it. That's actually ah, this, a really good this analogy. Is the news that we're waiting for. When you have three zerglings and you see twelve Donation news, drop, you're like, confirmed. all right, we're gonna be in trouble in the next minute and a half. Thanks. That's a good run by though. There's one thing that can be said about Loco is that he's quite patient with the way that he sets up. Uh, I was gonna say set up engagement. As I say, this literally runs in uh, <laughs> headbutting this mech army with Ling, Hydra, ah! Corruptor, Two Brute Lord. Look but at these corruptors, boys! He was being pretty patient with setting up engagement. He was very here. Come the bailings. Consistent with his run buys, with his things. I that's one of the things I I, I, I do appreciate in this game where he is playing pretty well. But yeah, it's it's just not gonna be enough, right? Like he. Hey, honestly, the game is way closer than I thought it would be with the mistakes that he's been making. We're, I, I stopped counting strikes, but we would be at about five right now. What? No! Point, so it's two strikes! At a fifth one. It was right two! Now, the quick what do you jump. mean? He would be in jail twice already. It's like life. You're never coming out of here. It's over for you. Baseball, he would be at the bench again. If Loco would be playing curling, he would be in trouble as well. Curling is a very technical sport.
<laughs> oh, okay, I was gonna say, I don't know if I catch that one, but that makes um, more sense. Corruptor just flying around. Loco is busy admitting defeat. <laughs> this is where I'm salty, dude. This is where I'm so triggered. I'm like, bro, I had like 20,000 resources in the bank. This Terran player was on five bases. What? <sighs> Give me a sweet time for it. I actually like that he's staying in though. I mean, he still has pretty decent income, right? He has 67 workers. He's doing good damage. There's not that many planetaries anymore. Like this is this is just a regular base, which means if he can somehow stop this base, he could be in good shape. I don't think he's going to be able to stop this base because he literally only has Ling Bane. But you could see a world in which Loco would have won this game. I can see a world. Had he taken the red or the blue pill. <laughs> Sadly, Loco decided to take the green one. Uh, Lurker. Still, I'm not sure what he did. I think it's the first time I see a lurker. Oh no, at least kill it, please. Okay, there there you go. go. Lurker gets a kill, dies five seconds later. <laughs> okay, yeah, dang it. Freaking range of these tanks, so broken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here we go, headbutting into 12 doors. I mean, it's not gonna work. Now, it would make my day complete if we can get a little a little bit of a flame here, though. So just no. Tell him how broken Mech is. Come on. <laughs> no, I, think I'd nice. I actually think I give him the GG well played. Stuff. That's the problem. Too nice. Lurkers get burrowed. Do absolutely nothing. Kill kill half a hell that. The tours march in, just literally a right click lurkers. Loco loco loco. This is this is a man in disbelief. Tried everything. That's the thing. This it's is the same story. with the gym, you know? He tried everything and it doesn't work. My friend, stick with the plan. Loco, you sent me a Twitter DM, not not even an email, a Twitter DM, complaining that Terran is too strong. Vipers die to Taurus, Brutalors die to Taurus, Ultras die to everything, and Infestors require your opponent to suck and not scan when they move out. No, I don't quite I know. mean, he asked if I could write him, write him a right or a wine mill, right? So something that he could use at the beginning of the video. I'm like, okay, I'll give him something spicy. About your opponent, but... You definitely Wait, is that me? Play. Or is that him? No, that is him. Okay, I was gonna say. Too well this game. You you, you, you did not play too well. Your Brutalords did die to Taurus. Your Vipers did die to... Well, actually, I'm not quite... I think your Vipers might have died to turrets. Um, your army composition was incorrect. Your, Probably. Your idea, your general concept of high workers and then taking semi-efficient trades, denying bases on the outside, um, is a good plan. But... Really try to stick with it a bit better. Your 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 viper control could use a little bit of work. Your uh, consistency of trading. You, you kind of want to when when you play like this. Yeah, if you would have drawn me, it would have had a bigger forehead. You want to really cut off a part of the. Well, actually, I've been roasted enough, guys. <sighs> Can't be doing counter attacks like I said with that static defense that you definitely have money for. And then all of a sudden, if you're only focusing on the the army you have at hand, you can think about making rotations to to sites where his army isn't. Um, and that's that that that's really just it. I mean, you played a decent game, but Mac Mac is not Mac is not in balance, my friend. You you just I like, suck. What? I think I have some better guys to do this for me. Let's go, boys. Hello. Wait. Loco. I've come <laughs> Am I about to be roasted by Raynor? Hold up. Can we bump the volume up a little? Because that seemed like a little bit on the lower end. Okay, here we go. Voice. Hello. Loco. I've come to conclusion. That you suck. <laughs> Loco, you suck, man. Loco, you suck. Loco, you suck. Yes, yes, you do suck. <laughs> what did it say? Local Vinish mini golf amateur enjoys Starcraft in his free time. <clears throat> Loco, you suck. Yes, yes. You do suck, Mr. Loco. 
All right, that's gonna be it for me today. Before I go, uh, please thank Loco for his cooperation with this series. Don't go flaming him that he sucks. That's not very nice. Finally, <laughs> we have someone it. else that actually wants to do a video with me. And then if you guys go flame him and make his life miserable, that would have been nice. So please uh, follow him and do his stuff on YouTube. Like he's actually great. He's a great lad. I absolutely love him. Um, I also have my stuff, but uh, thanks so much, Loco. And uh, see you. That was time. actually okay. Bye -bye. So, you know, despite all the roasting, right? That was actually very helpful. That was actually like a very helpful, you know, video. That was, uh, yeah, that was great. So there were a couple of things that I could do to win that game. First off, I could take another base, like he pointed out, if it goes split map, try and steal one of the bases for Terran. And despite me... Oh, is he gonna wink? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, but all kidding aside, right? All the memes, all the analogies, all the roasts. Um, that was very helpful. Yeah, so first off, my unit compositions, we knew about that, right? Like, it was... Uh, yeah, it wasn't that good. Um, I could have won this in multiple ways, for sure. For sure. I love the gym analogy the most. Yeah, yeah, the gym analogy. Uh, the gym analogy was was top tier. You get paid actors to tell me that I suck. <laughs> that was great, guys. In case you're unfamiliar, definitely uh, hit the thumbs up button here and click subscribe as well on Harsom's channel. He's been making videos for a uh, couple months now, and um, I mean, he's been getting like a million views a month already, dude. Like he's actually absolutely killing it on, on the YouTubes. So I do recommend you go ahead and check out his channel. Um, it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome to see him, uh, you know, joining the YouTube, uh, the game as well. It's a lot of fun. So there you go. Go ahead and check it out in case you're unfamiliar. Hey, thanks for the help. That was cool. And I'll try and uh, improve. I'll try and improve in my macro game. Or actually, I think my macro was pretty good. I think I gotta improve in my micro. <laughs>